Merciful, wonderful loving Father, thank you so much for the new day that brings new hope to us. Thank you for the great opportunity to study thy word Lord. We'll ask your guidance, and may your Holy Spirit to help us understand thy word O God, for us to be guided as we go along. Please forgive our shortcomings O God, and help us to be worthy to be called your children. This we ask in the most precious name of Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. Embracing Our Differences what a different world this would be if only people could learn to love as Jesus loves. Imagine life without arguing, fighting, bitterness, and jealousy, all forms of hatred. Can you imagine growing up without sibling rivalry, bullying at school, or co-workers sabotaging you? Sadly, hate started with Cain and Abel, sons of Adam and Eve, and over time has gotten worse as people have moved further and further away from God. There's absolutely no room for hatred in the heart of a Christian. In fact, the Bible says in 1 John 4, 20-21, If anyone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother, whom he has seen, cannot love God, whom he has not seen. And this commandment we have from him, Whoever loves God must also love his brother. It doesn't get clearer than that. Love is a requirement of God's children. One of the worst forms of hatred is racism. It's hard to comprehend how anyone could hate someone else merely because of skin color. And yet, they do. Hatred doesn't always manifest itself the same way. It is often expressed as indifference not caring, or just looking the other way. It's not enough to simply say, I'm not a racist. The real question is, are you anti-racist? The first is merely a statement of defense. But to say you are anti-racist tells people that you are against racism. Every follower of Christ should staunchly declare that they are anti-racist and let their daily actions show it. No one is superior or inferior. God loves all his children equally, no matter what color their eyes, hair, or skin. Being born with fair skin doesn't make you better than someone with darker skin. It only makes you different. God created all his children differently, not better, just different. He wants us to embrace our differences and love each other the same. Love is stronger than hate. Martin Luther King Jr. said, I have decided to stick to love. Hate is too great a burden to bear. Your words and actions have the power to heal or destroy lives. So do what God commands in John thirteen thirty four, A new command I give you, Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. <laughs>